Hello everyone, welcome in the presentation about how to go multi-cloud with your application. Today I will show you for the framework, open source framework, that enables full deployment of your app using different cloud providers. Which is important, it is not only a deployment, it in, it, I will show you also how the platform itself, itself can enhance your application. So when it is already deployed, how we can optimize it, how we can improve the current configuration of it. The platform itself is called Melodic, yet I will today also use the word Morphemic, which is a natural extension of Melodic. Uh, as both projects are open source, Morphemic gives some uh, some additional features to, uh, to Melodic that I will describe, describe later. I don't want to go too much into the details of how to how to use the platform, but to show you the main key features and how we can how we can benefit uh, with uh, in our application when using when using Melodic. Here you can see the main dashboard, so uh, we can just get into uh, just get into the starting deployment. Yet before I want to show you the credentials that we need to set, as I mentioned before, the important part of uh, multi-cloud is that we can use uh, different cloud providers. You can have here a list of different uh, different credentials. Uh, here I have uh, one of the most popular AWS and also the OpenStack, which is a University of Oslo uh, cloud provider. I need to uh, I need to specify all the details here uh, to be able simply to communicate with this cloud. So for AWS, which we will use today, we need to have the credentials of our account that we need to put here. And the same would go for the OpenStack. And this is pretty much the all for the, this is pretty much all for the initial uh, for the initial startup. We'll then go to the deployment part where we can. Uh, when we can select and start our application. Uh, here I will check, uh, I will choose um, uh, the XMI file that I will describe in a few seconds. Let me give me a few seconds, I need to um, find it and upload it. And here's the important part. As you can see, I, will, I am importing, uploading a file uh, which is in format XMI. It is a converted uh, file that has been described in Camel model. Camel model is uh, based on Terraform. It's a, it's a totally, uh, it's a totally independent language that uh, is fully cloud agnostic, which is really important that we can, that we can, uh, we, we can configure our our application in this language, uh, and we don't at this moment, at this point, we are not thinking about a specific cloud provider. Uh, in this file, there will uh, there are many settings that can be set, uh, many many important parts that uh, are later used for improvement of the application. This is, for example, or the prerequisites or, or the requirements of the hardware of the machines that will be uh, set up, but also of the metric system uh, that will be used. Uh, can, it can sound a little difficult, yet we have a GUI, a GUI modeler uh, called Camel, uh, Camel Designer that enables to use drag and drop, uh, uh, drag and drop, and also uh, other uh, easy and um, easy and uh, much much easier and uh, visible um, images to, to, to do it. Here you can see. I need to put an, uh, additional credentials. This is totally requested by the application itself, as it will have uh, an access to the S3 S3 database. So this is not uh, needed by the by the melodic. It is just uh, an additional usage uh, for for the application itself. Another uh, variables. Okay, I don't want to go too much into the details of the of this file, how it was created with Camel. Uh, yet it enables uh, yet it enables to to to, to define many many different uh, aspects of the application, which are important and how it can improve it and it can improve it later. The next step is just choosing the credentials that I have earlier uh, earlier defined. I can move forward. Okay, and then the last part is just pushing the big green button. As you can see, it is, it is quite simple. The starting the deployment is extremely easy. 
the main part is uh, the main part is uh, the definitions all the definitions inside uh, inside camel yet as i mentioned it is uh, it is much easier to done with uh, camel designer here are the main steps of the deployment that uh, that are run by the by the melodic i will i will go into the details of each of these box in a few seconds as i believe this is important to understand what actually uh, melodic is doing uh, to to find the best the best solution to also to optimize the application uh, but before i want to show you uh, a small diagram about what application we are actually using and as you have seen before it is called genome uh, here will be a small diagram maybe a small a diagram of the app and i want to point out here that genome is not just a testing application it is a real case scenario that was developed with collaboration of university of Bialystok. and the idea there is that there are multiple sets of multiple large data sets of both genomic and genetic type and there are there is a there is a need to like the, the algorithm is based on feature selection based on the based on the var of the binary variable the algorithm uses the extensive search of the entire space of tuples so this is extremely time consuming it's extremely resource consuming yet as there are multiple uh, simulations to be performed multiple computations it is it is quite easy to be uh, to be to be parallel to be to be optimized so it makes it a perfect a perfect uh, example uh, for for this, for this platform uh, here you can see a diagram that I mentioned before of how it will be of, of the setup of the initial setup. So we'll have two components, a component master and multiple workers. Uh, the master is based on Spark Master, which is a tools uh, at which is a tool used for distribution of um, of many computations of big large uh, data sets so for for big data uh, for big data uh, computations. So we would have Spark Master that schedule uh, jobs uh, for workers. And uh, Melodic is handling this setup. So it will be up to Melodic to determine how many workers are needed. And uh, it will be also communicating with uh, both master and workers. Let us show you it. So maybe I will minimize it. That will be visible during uh, the explanation of each of the uh, each of the um, steps that melodic is performing um, okay uh, the first as you can see we have uh, five steps uh, it will still take a few minutes until the deployment is finished uh, so we have a few minutes now to discuss it and the first one is fetching offers. This is the first moment when the melodic is communicating with cloud providers. So at this point, uh, it uh, gets uh, it, it it gets the information of uh, what hardware, what machines, what software, like for example, operational system. What is what what, what such cloud provider offers? So this is the first step we communicate with the cloud. Later, there is an important step, like generate, which is called generating constant problem. Inside Camel, you can put many constraints. You don't need to put like uh, hard coded like uh, specific values. You, for example, put uh, limits to, to 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 them. Like for example, minimum RAM uh, value or minimum maximum RAM value for for a component. Mm, but also also uh, also many other. Um, you can put also other variables, your custom ones, and. Here is uh, like this creating concern problem that later would be solved. So this is some sort of a, let's say preparation step. The main part is done in reasoning, where uh, where where a solver is finding a solution uh, to the earlier uh, created pro uh, constraint problem. So based on your requirements, your constraints you put on the plat on, on on your application. Uh, Melodic would find a uh, best solution here. So it would find the specific values of those variables. It will find the specific values of RAM, hardware, or, or other variables defined by you that would meet your meet your needs. And I mentioned let it find the best solution. And think I, I think this is important to say what is what does it mean the best. And 
we of course want to optimize uh, cost and performance but this is up to up to the user up to you how uh, how you define uh, what is called utility function and the utility function simply give us information of how good uh, the solution is or pretty much what we want to what we want to optimize and this function can be really sophisticated it is not just uh, performance to, to, to performance to, to, to price ratio mm, but it can really be really complicated well there is also in melodic there is also attached uh, an additional tool that enables to graphically create such uh, such custom functions and it totally depends on the application what really you want to optimize uh, here at this step we are using uh, a function that is based on both uh, price and uh, both price and performance uh, we want to have the best solution to, to pay the less the possible, but still uh, to, to, to get all the computations uh, done by the workers. Um, at this moment, we don't have that much data that we wish to. Uh, it's hard for us to say uh, what is the performance of the current solution as it is not yet deployed. So at this moment, uh, any uh, quite simple one is chosen we would start with one master component uh, with one master node and one worker uh, that would be the initial uh, setup most likely mm -hmm. yeah and as you can see the cardinality of worker equals one and the cardinal cardinality of uh, master equals one as well okay the next step is deploying this is the part where we communicate uh, with a cloud provider to set up uh, all the to set up all the all the nodes to to start all the virtual machines. Um, it is also important uh, that it is not just saying to, to, for example, AWS to start the machines, as Melodic is also communicating with those machines. There is a need to, for example, install uh, some, 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 some software. So, for example, if your application is Java, Java will be installed there. And also, um, which is important, uh, the connection is established to gather those metrics. Inside Camel, as I mentioned before, you can you can you can you can define a metric system. So pretty much you put uh, you put names of the metrics that you want and uh, how they are gathered. And uh, in this case, you can use some default metrics. So it would be simply just expressing that you want, for example, price metric uh, or or uh, RAM usage metric or CPU metric, CPU usage metric. Uh, but they can be totally custom ones, like simply sending some some data about uh, about those workers. Mm -hmm. Okay, and here in genome we have uh, we have six metrics that I will later uh, that I will later discuss in the different in the different views in Grafana. And as you can see, mm, the deployment is finished. So I think this is the moment that I can navigate to to the Grafana tool and Grafana is uh, is a monitoring uh, monitoring uh, application that enables us to see the details uh, of the app uh, that we have deployed in this case genome let me log in once more Okay, I will navigate to dashboard of genome. Okay, here are the details of our app, the genome application. And as I mentioned before, just a reminder that uh, that we have many, that we will have multiple computations to be performed by workers. Uh, that will be scheduled by by, by the master master. Uh, master node. The number of simulations at the beginning is, as far as I remember, almost 600. So we start with 576 computations. And which is important, we also put the constraints in Signed Camel. Uh, we put the constraints of, uh, of the time, the constraints of time. So we want all those computations to be performed in, uh, uh, in uh, 60 minutes. 
as you can see here's the time left uh, the time left indication so uh, we want all of them to be performed on time uh, yet as i mentioned before we also want to optimize uh, optimize the cost so we are not just setting up multiple machines to uh, to finish pretty much every 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 simulation instantly but we want to have uh, to have it done in this time limit with uh, with regard uh, of the cost of the entire setup okay so here you can see the number of instances uh, we start with two which is master one master and one worker and 600 simulation that already started to be performed by uh, by one worker okay inside uh, inside camel uh, which is which is now that we can smoothly go to the um, to the part of reconfiguration which is extremely important as so far you have seen how to how to deploy an application in multi cloud which is i think already already quite much yet what is now what what now is being done is really important like because based on those metrics we have multiple metrics here uh, indicating simulations performance or current setup based on those metrics melodic can make decision if there is a need to maybe I'll close it can make a decision if there is a need to uh, to reconfigure and in this case as i mentioned before it would be increasing or decreasing number of workers and this decision is made totally automatically so as you can remember from the moment that i have pushed the big green button there is no need to interfere at all the melodic make sure that performance is fine that uh, the payment that the price is that the cost is fine that everything is at this at the specific moment in the best possible configuration and as you can see uh, this is actually what will be done here as this quite this this red uh, colorful light will indicate if we if current constraints are met so in this case we have estimated time uh, and as you can see the estimated time is higher than the time left so at this moment the current solution would not make all the computations of time so melodic would reconfigure so melodic based on this uh, based on those metrics uh, is, is, uh, is, is it would increase the number of workers to make sure that the, uh, that the computations are done on time and i think i can navigate to uh, again to the to the view of the melodic oh it is already done so the first uh, the first reconfiguration has been done and uh, i i will ju ju just explain what, what happened here oh, now it's the second one as this is possible to have a multiple uh, reconfiguration reconfigurations mm. In this view, we can see what is currently happening. And as you can see, we have reconfiguration process, which is uh, three boxes. Then, uh, which in which which we, in the end we would have uh, we would have a better better solution that better meets our our needs. And which is important, I think what is important to say here is that those boxes are pretty much the same that you have seen during initial deployment. So reasoning is what I told you before that it is finding uh, finding values of the variables, uh, finding the best solution based on the utility function. And the difference here is that we have much more data than we used to. So during initial deployment, we didn't know much about those metrics values that are also needed to find uh, the best uh, the best solution. Here we have all those data. So based on those metrics, based on the uh, based on all those data that we have, the melodic is is, is improving. Melodic is uh, is setting up a new a better better configuration. And deploying is again a communication with the cloud provider. So for example, setting up a new machines or deleting the old ones, or that can be all, all the all from part of uh, communication with the cloud provider. Uh, I will go back to uh, Grafana. So um, I assume we'll see uh, an increase of the worker in, in a few minutes. Uh, we'll see it takes, it takes a little time. 
Yeah, and as we can see here with the solution that has been found, uh, we can see the cardinality of the master is one, as it is also the limit in, uh, put inside camel. And also worker cardinality has increased to, uh, to two. So the melodic made the decision to, to start up a second machine, a second worker. Okay, and here you can see this is the diagram indicating the cardinality of the numbers, the cardinality of the uh, of the workers, and as you can see also the estimated time, estimated time decreased. So I will assume that uh, in a few seconds we will see that the current solution is just on spot, but I guess those uh, also needs a few seconds to to process uh, everything. Uh, so the estimated time decreased and uh, the estimated time increased and now it is lower than the time left so at this moment it will be a totally sufficient solution. Yet have in mind that uh, we don't have that much time to wait until uh, all the oh, perfect you can see uh, green light as this is currently the best solution uh, and all the all the constraints are met. Uh, we won't wait until all the computations are performed. We still have like 500s of them. Yet have in mind that uh, it is totally possible and very, very possible that we'll have many configurations. For example, if the estimated time goes, uh, the difference between estimated times and time left would be too much. It indicates that it is possible to, uh, to optimize cost. So it is very possible that uh, one of the workers would be uh, would be stopped, uh, or maybe if some of the computations would take longer longer to perform, which is totally possible, uh, maybe it would be an increase of the uh, of the workers. Uh, and as I mentioned before, it is done totally automatically. So I, as you can see, I haven't interfered with the application at all from the moment I started it. Okay, so this is the main part of Melodic. I also want to go a little bit in the extension of Melodic, uh, which is uh, which is morphemic. And one of the one of the uh, additions, uh, there are quite many of them, but one of the addition is uh, is for uh, is called forecasting model. And as you can see, we can see uh, we can see here as you can see as you can see there are, uh, there are a few diagrams indicating the values of the metrics. Yet you can imagine that. Uh, we have such, uh, I don't know, we have time left, for example, or we have simulations to be performed in in weeks or, or, or I don't know, months, uh, and the platform would handle it. But yet, we, with forecasting model, we can predict the values of those uh, of those metrics. So while we go to the, at this moment, I, when I just started, there is still not sufficient data to, uh, for forecasting model uh, to, to forecast anything. Yet I can go. I will go to uh, one of the deployment, which is also a genome, but with much more data, which uh, and a little bit, uh, a little bit bigger uh, time constraints. So I will show you for for you to that not this one for that you could have a look at how at, at, at forecasting model, uh, which is pretty much all those colorful lines and. As you can see, it has been quite a bigger example. We started with almost 800, uh, 800 simulations at the beginning, and I had to start it at the beginning of the day as it takes around seven to eight hours to finish all of them. Yet, uh, those few hours uh, is needed to gather enough data uh, to, get, um, to get predictions. And the forecasting model uh, is gathering those, is based on those data, uh, is learning uh, to perform predictions. Um, the model, what is used here for forecasting is uh, quite many different uh, machine learning models. Uh, we have here some of them that, uh, uh, that won a few competitions in uh, data series uh, forecasting. So for example, we have uh, ARIMA, TFT, NBITS, and a few others. Uh, like CNN or Profit. Yet, which is important, you can see a few of them are not very, not very accurate. It's still there is the forecasting model is quite complex. Uh, there is some uh, some ability to there, there is a model that is also taking into account 
many different models. So it is not just uh, one model taken in account. There is uh, also a model that is uh, there is merging them and assembling them to make sure that we always have the best uh, the best predictions. But why actually we want to predict those metric values? And the point is that, as you can see, I, the, that based on the predictions, we can we can look into the future and we can optimize. We can start a reconfiguration before. So in this case, we would uh, maybe in this case it is it is not that visible what we, what improvement we can get. But for example, imagine a totally different uh, application where, for example, we we have uh, multiple uh, we have multiple uh, nodes that are hand handling requests from the users, and based on those metrics, we can, for example, predict when there will be an increase of the users. So, like an easy example would be that, for example, we have more requests after after 5 p.m. and after 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 a few days, the melodic or even sooner, melodic uh, morphemic would learn that. Uh, that such an increase uh, happens and would start reconfiguration even before uh, this increase is seen. So we would not be adapting the platform for the current situation, but we would adapt uh, we would adapt the, the application just before it is needed. So based on the predictions of the, for example, increase of the users, uh, your application would be ready. You would have enough nodes, enough uh, enough nodes to to handle all the requests of the uh, of the uh, all the requests that uh, that appear after 5 p.m. Okay, so this is the this is the example uh, of also forecasting model that has that that is an addition from uh, from Morphemic. Uh, there are many more. Uh, also, a few of them are in under development. Uh, in, for example, also uh, an ability for the platform to to improve also the uh, the architecture of the um, the architecture of the of the current solution. So, for example, change uh, change change uh, node to work uh, to, to change uh, node from CPU to GPU usage uh, to make sure uh, also that we have always the best configuration and best architecture. Uh, to learn more, you can go to, to the website of Morphemic and Melodic, which is which is uh, already under use. Uh, and today, this will be all for my presentation. Uh, thank you all, and I hope you enjoyed it. And I could see that even with such simple, maybe not simple, it's not simple, but uh, accessible tool, as it is open source. And everyone can contribute to it or use it uh, that even with such a, that, that that with such a tool how you can how you can improve it you improve your application thank you very much